where it goes from here basically is we have to uh, hope somehow that the volunteers on a country by country basis will organize themselves and demand reform. Basically set up small informal unions uh, and bargain for rights and bargain for, uh, for status and bargain for respect. They're not going to bargain for wages uh, and, uh, and hours. They're going to bargain for working conditions. And um, probably that won't happen, uh, except in a few countries. Um, the worst managed programs, the staff um, is threatening basically to terminate any volunteer who speaks out. And that's probably enough to squelch any kind of an organized campaign by the volunteers to uh, address, the, address their issues. But there's some hope that the volunteers uh, who will see this program and read all of the documents and, and uh, see the surveys and see the early quit rates and all the rest of it, that they will get organized and slowly, slowly the Peace Corps will reform itself. But we see absolutely nothing from within the Peace Corps that will lead to reform. It has to come through pressure from the outside, either from the volunteers um, or potentially through bad publicity. Um, but, um, but I think it's an agency that will slowly atrophy over time. It will slowly become um, uh, less relevant, uh, have a poor recommend, uh, uh, reputation. Uh, the ratio of applicants to slots uh, will go negative, so they won't have enough uh, applicants to fill slots. Um, the training will, will get worse. There will be more scandals. There will be a higher high ter early termination rate or maybe even a higher early termination rate. I don't see anything happening slowly, slowly, slowly that will improve it. On the contrary, I think slowly, slowly, slowly it will get worse.